We are now going to run blood tests on our three blood samples we retrieved from our crime scene. So we will be retrieving, or we will be blood typing the blood from victim number three. We were able to obtain a very small amount of blood from victim number four. And we did find a small amount of blood from the inside of one of the gloves found on scene. Um, there had been a cut a hole even in the glove and there was blood that we were able to extract from the inside of that glove. Right. Keep in mind we will be testing for the A, the B, and the RH factor, so the A and B antigens and the RH factor. Okay, see me down here. All right, victim number three. Victim number four. And then the blood from inside of the gloves. We are now going to go ahead and mix them with the appropriate reagents. So we've got our anti-A serum, which we will put in the top left-hand spot. We will put our next reagent, which is our anti-B serum, in the slot right below that. And then we will use our anti-D for our RH factor. And that will go on the slot on the right. We're now going to go ahead and use individual toothpicks to stir, and we will be looking for any type of clumping or gel-like reaction. With the use of our flashlight here, we're going to go ahead and look for some of our reactions to see if they went and tested positive or not. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at victim number three first. Okay. At first sight, ooh, wow, that's really... Oops. I'm going to adjust the exposure here. Okay. If you look close, okay. Even when I hold my flashlight, there we go. Okay, if you look in that first slot, there is evidence of clumping. Okay. So, evidence of clumping here. If we look in this next spot, There's slight clumping and a gel-like reaction forming. And here we also have a gel-like forming too. So all three had either clumping or gel-like reactions. For victim number four, looking here, even though it's a slightly streaky, there is no clumping present in this first slot. Okay. The next slot, no clumping is present there. And this one, there is actual gel-like consistency to this part. So there is a gel or a clumping reaction happening here. From the blood from our gloves, there is no clumping here. No clumping here. And our last there is definite clumping in that last one. And so that last part was the blood from our gloves.